On December 6th, EMS Commander Jimmy Madry got to work early to hit the gym. He never imagined the calls he would be responding to. I had my gym bag on my shoulder, and when I walked in, I was met by one of the personnel saying, have you heard what happened on the military base? I said, not yet, and by then my phone rang from dispatch. Sheriff Deputy 239, go ahead. Hey, some head ass since call in the back of my Tahoe. I ain't even trying to find an ambulance or the closest hospital, please. Madry says quickly, dispatch calls for help like these started pouring in. I have one black male shot in the leg by the Samoan artery, and I have one Navy officer shot up here multiple times, constantly unconscious right now. He put on his uniform and drove to NAS Pensacola. Madry tells us he's been in public safety for more than 20 years and he'll never forget what he saw next. It almost felt like you were in a movie. Uh, you know, there was a lot of different agencies involved, uh, law enforcement, uh, Navy fire, uh, helicopters from uh, the different agencies, the life flight were landing in the parade field. All the advised on scene, no longer active shooter incident, scene is secure. I repeat, scene is secure. So this is our active shooter kit. Madry commended the teamwork of the responding agencies, saying if it weren't for their clear communication and training, the death toll could be higher. After speaking to the physicians at one of the local hospitals that most of these patients were taken to, that uh, the physicians did state that without the placement of these tourniquets, the, the death toll would have been higher. These are chest seals. If someone has a, a bullet hole to the torso. Responders were prepared to handle an active shooter call, but they hoped to never get one. It's disturbing. I mean, you never want it to, to happen in your hometown. The fact of the matter is, it's just, it does. You just want to be well prepared, make sure your crews are well prepared to handle that situation.